And a Shelby County Fire Department is adding a new piece of emergency equipment to its arsenal. Megan O'Rourke is live to show us how officials say it will help to keep patients and paramedics safe. Mark, tonight two new power cots are in use at the Sydney Fire Department, and emergency workers there say they have literally taken the weight off their shoulders and backs. Each time an ambulance goes on a run, the paramedics inside know they carry a heavy responsibility. Get to the patient and then get to the hospital. Stressful and sometimes backbreaking work. But for Sydney firefighters, a big weight was just lifted thanks to two new power cots installed in their ambulances. The new cot itself is hydraulic and battery driven, which allows the cot and the cantilever load system to lift up to 700 pounds and loads it for our paramedics and firefighters. Chief Bradley Jones says the cots will greatly reduce the amount of back strains and lower back injuries. I actually received a call from an off-going firefighter um, after he had been up in the middle of the night and had, uh, they had a medical call with a, uh, a larger individual and he called me on his way home to say thank you for the cots because uh, his back wasn't going to hurt for the rest of the day. But with a price tag totaling more than $80,000, help doesn't come cheap and that's why the Bureau of Workers' Compensation is kicking in nearly half. These grants have made a significant impact on safety in the workplace. Our history shows employers that use safety grants see a 66% reduction in, in, in the amount of injuries in the workplace after the implementation. And Bureau of Workers' Compensation officials say technology like this is so effective in reducing workplace accidents, they've tri they have tripled the budget for safety grants to allow more departments to have access to the technology. I'm Megan O'Rourke, 2 News, working for you.